Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Linux Unix Tech Channel. It's your host, Dan Calloway. And today what I want to do is I want to show you how you can secure copy files from a remote server to your local computer in Atragos Linux. And to do that, we'll need to be in the terminal. So we're going to take a look at that using SSH. So let's get into it. And so anyway, let me go ahead and click on Terminal here. And the first thing I need to do is find out what my IP address is on this machine. So I do an ifconfig, and I can see that my IP address is 192.168.113, so I'll have to remember that. Next thing I want to do is I want to ping the remote server we're going to SSH into. And so let's uh, go ahead and initiate that command. So we're going to do a ping dash c3 and 192.168.1.157 and I can see that it's pinging that server just fine so we have a good route. Alright, clear the screens here and so next thing I want to do is I want to see if SSH server is running in Entergos. So I'm going to issue the command systemctl should be status, I can type it here, sshd and I notice the return status here is that it is inactive and dead. So that means that the server is shut down. So I'm going to do a system CTL start SSHD. And it's prompting me for my credentials. So I'm going to enter my credentials. And I put that in and uh, hit authenticate or hit enter. And it will initiate the command. So we have now started the SSH server, so let's go ahead and get a status on it again, and now you notice it is active and running. So that's good. Now I want to make it persistent so it'll survive a reboot. Uh, so it'll come up on boot time. So systemctl enable sshd. Looks like I mistyped it. Sorry. So let's do it again. systemctl, since we're using systemd here, enable SSHD and it's prompting me once again for my password so I'm going to go ahead and enter that in and now it's created a symlink uh, for that and so we're good to go. Alright so the next thing I want to do is I want to SSH into the remote server it's a, a username of root at 192.168.1.157 I'm going to say yes to that and I'm going to put in the password for root and I'm in. Alright, so I'm SSH into that server and so now I want to navigate to the folder which is on the public side called Shared Pictures and since there's a break in the name I'm going to have to put quotes around it. I'm going to copy the files from the uh, leave the bridges uh, directory and all files. So I use SCP bridges slash star dot star and then the account on the local machine, data pioneer at 192.168.1.13, I recall, colon, forward slash, and where to put it, home data pioneer pictures. And that's the directory I want to put those pictures in. And so I'm going to say yes, put in my password for data pioneer. I can type it. Alright, so now you can see it is secure copying the entire directory of bridges to my local machine, getting 100% on each, doing it pretty quickly as well. And so when this is completed, we'll go ahead and log out of uh, Break the Connection for SSH. We'll go back to the local machine and see if they actually made it. So I'm going to do an exit here, and the connection is broken. And now I'm back to my local machine. Let me go to Files, take a look and see in Pictures, Folder, or Directory. And, yep, sure enough, there are all the pictures copied down from the Bridges directory uh, to the Pictures folder. Now, I could have created a Bridges uh, directory as well, but 
Um, I didn't do that ahead of time, so I can do that after the fact. Not a big deal. All right, so that's a way to, to securely copy files down, and it did it uh, rather quickly and uh, securely. So uh, have a nice day.